Hey friends, Ash here with Chin Sense. Sorry if I scared you, hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite fragrances from the house of Mansara. Mansara is one of the best entry level niche houses because they're not too expensive. A lot of their fragrances are really wearable. So it's one of the first places I'll point people if they're just getting into niche fragrances. But Mansara fragrances aren't just for people getting into niche for the first time. Really they can be enjoyed by anybody because they do have more complexity, more richness, more depth typically than your designer fragrances and even some higher priced niche ones. So let's jump into this. Let's talk about some good old man Sarah. I'm also gonna link each one of these fragrances in the description below at Twisted Lily, which is a great place to pick up niche fragrances. And if you use the code GENTS10, you save yourself 10% off your order. And that's not just for these Mansara fragrances, that's for literally everything on the website. Also, if you don't want to splurge on a full bottle, you can get samples there, or you could get a Mansara discovery kit. So I'll link to that also in case you wanna check that out, just kind of an alternative way to discover the house if you haven't before. Okay, let's start this off with my most recent Mansara, and it quickly became one of my favorites, Vetiver Sensuel. Now, I'm a big fan of Vetiver. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but if you're new, you know, I, I figure why not just say it again. Vetiver can come across a whole bunch of different ways, dry, grassy, smoky, even earthy, very clean, uh, a lot of different ways. In this one, you're gonna be finding a fragrance that's more along that clean, sparkly vetiver style. There's lime, there's orange, there's bergamot, actually a lot of citrus in here, along with, of course, the vetiver. And then you have some mint in here as well. Again, this one is going to be that very clean, office-friendly type of vetiver. This is a vetiver scent that's gonna work perfectly in warm weather, even during the summer, because it has all of those, those fresher notes kind of contrasting the vetiver that's in here. I wasn't for sure that Mansara was going to be able to pull off a vetiver fragrance that you know, put it among some of my favorites in my collection because I've got a ton of them. The first time I smelled that, I knew that they killed it. So Vetiver Sensual, one of my favorites. It is, again, my newest Mansara, and I absolutely love it. I think for the price, it is fantastic. Assuming that you do love Vetiver fragrances done in that more approachable, easy breezy kind of style. Also, I like these new Mansara caps. I just wanna throw that out there. This magnetic cap, really dig it. And the new atomizer, let me waste a couple sprays for you so you can see. Ooh, really good. Now, some people are gonna prefer that older Mansara style bottle that has the uh, screw cap and then the old style atomizer that they have, which I'll show you here in a second. But I think that these are actually a lot better. Okay, next one, Lemon Line. And let me go ahead and show you that cap. So it unscrews in case you've never seen it. And then looks like so. So you can see here, goes on top. Well, if I can get it, <laughs> and screws back down. So like that. And I'll waste a couple sprays of this one as well so you can see the difference in the atomizer. This one has lemon, lavender, moss, and musk as some of the notes in the fragrance. And one thing you'll notice as we work through this list is that a lot of these fragrances are more spring and summertime scents. Now, Mansara and its sister company, Montal, are really well known for their oud fragrances or oud-centric fragrances. Obviously, those are gonna be more for fall and winter. But when it comes to Mansara, most, not all, but most of the fragrances that I find myself kind of pulled toward are more of their warm weather offerings. I feel like they've got that nice richness, that nice depth, great performance, great projection, great longevity, and a little more character than a lot of fragrances that you would find usually marketed towards spring and summer. So while a lot of people, they see Mansara, they see Montal, they think fall, winter, oud. For me, at least with Mansara, I like a lot of their warm weather stuff. Back to this one, Lemon Line. And it is lemon line with an N, not lemon lime, like a Sprite or 7-Up soda. This one has a really candied lemon smell to it. So the lemon in here almost smells like lemon heads, if you're familiar with that candy. That's how this smells in the opening. And the lemon in here is pretty strong. That's by far the most prominent note. It pumps out for a long time and lasts for a long time. So if you're used to citrus fragrances where the citrus is there and then gone, 
this one is a nice change of pace that's gonna give you a long lasting citrus. Of course, it's also got that lavender moss and musk as the fragrance dries down, but it's all about the lemon here. All right, next up, another one with lemon in the name, Oud Lemon Mint. It's got lemon, it has oud, it has almond, and I swear to you, when this fragrance first came out, I reviewed it and I couldn't find mint anywhere, including on <laughs> Mancera's website. And uh, if you look at Fragrantica, you look at base notes, mint is missing from the note breakdown. But if you look nowadays, like on Mancera's website or on Perfumo, mint is there. So mint is an official note of Aoud Lemon Mint. That one is a really fresh fragrance, once again, a big, powerful lemon, uh, not entirely dissimilar from the lemon in Lemon Line, not quite as candied, but still really prominent and sweet. Got a creamy almond in there as well, the mint in here, <laughs> not a really super realistic mint note. It doesn't smell like a crushed mint leaf or anything like that to me. It's kind of like the lemon, more of a, a sweet mint, uh, synthetically sweet, but still smells great. And the oud that's in this fragrance is contrasted greatly by those sweeter notes, the mint, the lemon, and although the almond is not really sweet, it still provides a nice contrast to the oud so that the oud in this fragrance never becomes overwhelming or fecal or animalic or dirty. That one, fantastic in spring and fall. Maybe a little too much oomph for summer because it is strong, but you could dial it back, wear less of it. Big, big compliment puller too. Surprisingly, a huge compliment puller. Aoud Lemon Mint, that's been one of my favorites since it came out. Next up, this bad boy right here, Red Tobacco. This one has a strong opening. If you've never smelled the opening to this, you might not like it because when you first spray it on, there's a lot going on. It's got a big punch. There's cinnamon, there's oud, there's tobacco, there's vanilla, there's saffron. When I first smelled this, didn't really like it a whole lot. The opening to me was just too strong, too synthetic, too much going on, overpowering. Didn't really dig it. Over time though, I grew to actually like the opening. And in the dry down, this stuff is really good. That's where it shines. And that's because it has all these different things going on that ultimately add up to the fragrance being just very sweet, spicy, and sexy, and hugely attention grabbing. Performance of that one is big. We're talking massive projection, longevity for hours and hours and hours. So that is one that depending on where you're going, you wanna make sure you don't spray on too much. Because red tobacco is the type of scent you spray on one too many times and people are gonna be walking away from you rather than walking toward you. So keep that in mind, but fall and winter time, especially in the evening, red tobacco is a killer. Next up, Cedrat Boise, of course, super popular. This one gets compared to Creed's Aventus. Yeah, yeah, it's another one of those Aventus type scents. And while a lot of people out there are sick and tired of Aventus type scents, you've got to admit that in terms of just versatility and you know the people pleasing facet of fragrances like that, that in general, Aventus type scents are very successful. And this one is no different. The cost versus value is great. You get a whole lot for what you pay for it. And each one of these come in 60 and 120 mil size bottles. So if you get the larger size, you're getting 120 mils versus your typical 100 mil bottle size. So that's a nice little bonus. People love the fragrance. It's a big attention grabber, big compliment puller, and it works year round because it has enough depth, enough oomph to cut through the cold, but then it has that sweetness and that fruity facet that's going to work in the spring and the summer. This one has cedar and leather along with some fruity notes, including black currant and lemon. Yeah, lemon once again, pretty popular note for Mancera. The black currant is gonna give it this tartness, which for a lot of people kind of pulls it in closer with Creed Aventus because of course black currant is one of the, the main facets in the opening of Creed's Aventus along of course with pineapple and bergamot and then as it dries down birch and musk but we're not really talking about that. Just uh, basically the black currant in here helps give it that little little hint of Aventus in the opening here. This one's one of the most popular Mancera fragrances and one of the very first ones I got and that's because it is so popular. So many people talk about it and it's one that I really, really enjoyed right from the get-go. And I wanna talk about one very quickly that's not in my official top five of my most favorite ones here and that is Instant Crush. 
Now, I don't like this one as much as the other fragrances here. I would pick all five of the first ones that I talked about over this one. But if you're looking for a Baccarat Rouge 540 fragrance with a twist, check this one out. It's got vanilla, rose, ginger, amberwood, and saffron as some of the notes in the fragrance. And it's that saffron amberwood combo here that really, really gets people comparing this one to BR540. Some people might find this leaning feminine, just like Baccarat Rouge 540. Some people find leaning feminine. For me though, completely unisex. This one, like pretty much all the fragrances I talked about, big attention grabber, big compliment puller. So I just wanted to mention this one really quickly. If you like BR540 or you're interested in a BR540, with a little bit of a twist that's more affordable. Check this out. So there we go. Technically six Mancera fragrances that I really like. Again, I'm gonna link them all below at Twisted Lily. Use the code GENTS10 anytime you're on the site, not just for these, for literally anything. Save yourself 10% off. And as I mentioned, they do have samples. So if you don't wanna get the full bottle, you can get a sample, check it out that way, get the discovery kit, whatever. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.